So it's finished. It's interesting since since they did the Android 15, the step three, it's always really fast. So now it's ready. Six and 11, six, uh, 6, 18 and 12 minutes, 18, 11, six and 11 minutes. But you still have to restart for the update to complete. So let's do the restart. Now I have a memory card in the phone and the SIM card, if there are any boot loop issues, like the phone gets stuck on the Sony logo or it gets stuck on the Xperia logo, it vibrated. So that's good. It could happen if it gets stuck. We'll see. So still on the Sony logo, taking a bit longer than usual. Come on. I'm curious if they fixed the Xperia logo problem. Probably not. What do you think? Did they fix the Xperia logo when it shows too big here on 4K mode? Let's see about this. I keep my hand on the phone to feel if there is any vibration or if it's trying to restart. Okay, Android, Xperia, and it gets bigger. It gets bigger? No. I think they fixed that. The Xperia logo doesn't get bigger, so they did. Arnold, oh, it does. <laughs> For sure, the same thing. Okay, the phone is restarted now, and I have to enter the pin. Okay, I entered the pin, and the phone is trying to start now. Let's see. Finishing system update, that's interesting logo there. I find that logo interesting. It's still working on the update, but it's almost, it's like finished, almost. Like finished. It should show, it should show notification here when it's really finished, when the updates are completed. But I could actually go in the meantime and see in the Play Store, uh, security. Let's try security, I think. Yeah. So the software update, new software version installed successfully. Okay, that's great. So now we are on Xperia system update. 